Vincent Gordon Lindsay White, Baron White of Hull, KBE, known as Gordon White, was co-founder with James Hansen of the British conglomerate. Hansen plc and one of the most successful corporate raiders of the 1970s and 1980s known for his uncanny intuition and ruthless takeover tactics. He died in Los Angeles aged 72, leaving most of his £70 million fortune to his son Lucas. White attended to Aston School in Market Rosin, Lincolnshire. He was a Royal Air Force pilot during World War II and clandestine operations in India, Burma, and Thailand. It was during the war that White became friends with Bill Hansen, British show-jumping star and younger brother of James Hansen. Temperamentally and perhaps because of his wartime experiences, after the war White was more interested in having fun than working. Possessed of considerable panache, he set himself up as a Hollywood impresario in the early 1950s. He was a governor of the British Film Institute, 1982-4. Bill Hansen died aged 27 of cancer, leaving his bereaved elder brother James with the duty of carrying on the Hansen business name. White became a surrogate brother to James, and was eventually the brains of the Hansen takeover machine. In 1958 in one of their first business ventures together he and James Hansen hit on the idea of importing jokey American greetings cards, then largely unknown in Britain. The business trading as Hanson White became one of Britain's largest suppliers of greeting cards, gift wrap and giftware and was sold to a management buyout for £10. 8 meters in 1997. The pair's entry into serious business, and the world of takeovers, came through White's connection to Jim Slater, the accountant turned stock market was kid who introduced them to the potential in public company shares. White and Hanson concentrated on emulating Slater's takeover techniques, building up a public company through acquisitions and disposals. By 1964 he and Hansen had started to build up Hansen Trust out of the former Wiles Group. Hansen plc turned into one of the largest British-owned conglomerates with annual profits of more than £1.5 billion and a strategy of growth through acquisition. From 1965 to 1973 White was deputy chairman of Hansen Trust Ltd. In 1973 White left Britain for New York City where he developed Hansen's American holdings. He married three times. His first marriage, to Elizabeth Kalin, the daughter of a Swedish diplomat, produced daughters Sita and Carolina, and the second, to an American actress, Virginia North, gave him a son, Lucas. After the divorce he lived with a former model, Victoria Tucker, 40 years his junior. The couple married in a registry office in Hamilton, Bermuda, in 1992. He remained chairman of Hanson Industries North America, Island, New Jersey from 1973 until his death. Perhaps the most successful British buccaneer in America is the canny, soft-spoken Sir Gordon White, 64, chairman of Hanson Industries, the U.S. investing arm of London's Hanson Trust conglomerate. Hanson employs more than 35,000 workers in the eight U.S. firms it has acquired since 1973. Among the prizes, SCM, manufacturer of Smith Corona typewriters, and Endicott Johnson, the shoe retailer. White's current target is Kitta, a maker of products ranging from Farberware kitchen utensils to Jacuzzi Whirlpool baths. Hansen has made an offer for Kitta, and a successful deal would double the firm's U.S. employment roster. So far White has spent $2 billion on his acquisitions. Unlike Slater, White and Hansen survived the British slump in the early 1970s, but the quantum leap which had been promised to shareholders did not come until 1979, the beginning of the Margaret Thatcher era which saw a move toward capitalism and a new respect for businessmen such as White and Hansen, who were not afraid to take on trade unions and break up established companies in pursuit of profit. In the 1970s and 80s White and Hansen turned the Hansen Group into a multinational encompassing, amongst others, US chemical factories, UK electricity suppliers and Australian gold mines. The Hansen Group's other products included batteries, cigarettes, cod liver oil capsules, cranes, golf clubs, jacuzzis, timber and toys. From 1979 to 1986, Hansen Trust stocked its prey on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, acquiring a succession of ever-larger companies, often in hard-fought takeover battles planned and directed by White but fronted by Hansen. At this time White and Hansen were giving millions of pounds to the Conservative Party. Successful acquisitions included the ever-ready company Burek, the retail group UDS, and finally Imperial Group which included hotels, the Courage and Golden Wonder Crisps. At almost £2 billion, the Imperial Group takeover set the record as Britain's biggest. It also set the record as the bitterest. The fight was a public one, through full-page newspaper advertisements, but behind-the-scenes private investigators sought, 
unsuccessfully, to prove allegations of criminal activities in U.S. side of business which was White's domain. The fight for Imperial took its toll. In 1986 the Times focused on a controversial attempt to take £70 million from the Courage Pension Fund. In the city there was speculation as to how the takeover juggernaut could keep going with its aim to acquire ever larger targets, and as Hansen and White passed normal retirement age there was speculation as to their succession plans. Neither had any intention of stepping down, but attempts to continue the proven method were, not surprisingly, becoming more difficult not least as the class of possible targets got smaller. Then there was the issue of the pair's political connection. In November 1990, Thatcher was ousted as Prime Minister, seriously weakening the pair's political support. Perhaps as a consolation prize, White was given a life peerage in the resignation honours list. Prior to being created a life peer with the title Baron White of Hull, of Hull in the county of Humberside on January 25, 1991, White had been appointed Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 1979 birthday honours. The reduction in political support, signalled by Thatcher's resignation and honours notwithstanding, was the beginning of the end of the pair's takeover career. In 1991 White and Hansen bid for Imperial Chemical Industries, one of the commanding heights of British industry, in what was supposed to be the ultimate takeover. Apart from being symbolic of Britain's manufacturing and research base, EC had plants and offices all over Britain, which made it a highly political issue for the many members of Parliament whose constituents might be affected, including several in marginal Tory seats. Had they succeeded, White and Hansen may have acquired some of EC's respectability with which to veneer their own wheeler-dealer reputation. On guard, EC caused White and Hansen deep embarrassment when it revealed that White was not on Hansen's board and had spent and lost several million pounds of company money on his passionate interest in racehorses. EC also showed that White and Hansen ran a string of offshore companies and tax havens. Furthermore, Hansen's son Robert, having been identified as the pair's likely successor, had been put in charge of the bid and had been shown to be naive, dealing a severe blow to White and Hansen's succession plans. Their reputations now seriously damaged, White and Hansen had to withdraw before a formal takeover for EC could be launched. At the time of White's death in 1995, the climate in which the Hansen Group operated had changed as investors looked beyond the conglomerate to single-sector companies. Hansen PLC is now a British-based international building materials company, headquartered in London. White's horse legal case won the champion stakes G1 in 1989. Reference Light won the Anzio Maiden stakes in 1989 at Redcar and Evasive. Prince won the EBF Willow Maiden stakes at Linkfield in 1990. White entered two horses in the Jersey stakes at Ascot in 1990, Bold Russian which came second, and Key Dancing which came third. Hansen and White were controversial figures who, critics claimed, were devoted to the quick profit. Such was their fame, or notoriety, that White was written into the script of the 1987 film Wall Street, as the character Sir Larry Wildman, in which he was played as a cold-blooded money-making machine by actor Terence Stamp. In May 2004 White's daughter Sita, aged 43, died suddenly during a Santa Monica yoga class, following years of financial troubles. Married three times, she was the mother, from a relationship with Imran Khan, 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan and formerly an international cricketer, of a daughter. Tyrion Jade, although Khan denied paternity, a U.S. court ruled that he was her father after Khan failed to contest the paternity suit. In 2007, the Election Commission of Pakistan dismissed this judgment on the grounds that it was neither admissible in evidence before any court or tribunal in Pakistan nor executable against him. In 2004, after Sita White's death, Khan agreed to accept Tyrion as his child and welcomed her to join their house. Thanks for watching.